Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of Doric Website Builder. You are going to learn how we can customize a website using the builder, how we can add new elements on your website, and you are going to learn about many other options available on the builder throughout this video. So first of all, I'd love to talk about the structure. Doric Website Builder consists of four main components. The first one is the section which works like a large box. Inside a section, we can put multiple rows inside rows we can put multiple columns and inside the columns we can put the elements we'd love to add on our website for instance here on this column we got this heading text and this button and in this column we got this image we can add videos we can add subscription form and any other element inside the columns now for each of the component we got these control panels or the bars the first option here is to drag and move the second one is to edit and the third one is to delete and the fourth one is to add new element section column etc now not only that if we right click on our mouse we are going to find some other options such as duplicate save to collection save a symbol delete options as well for each of these components now let's learn how we can customize any specific element or component of our website so let's make a change here on the background of this section while it is indicating this control bar we can click here on any part of that section and a control model will appear from where we'll find many options available depending on our need we can select the option and you can use the features to customize or add element to our site so let's change the background color and for your information, we can drag and place this control bar on any place of our website, depending on our convenient. Not only that, we can click here on to this icon and it is going to be attached here on the right side of our website. We can simply minimize it or hide or you can show it again by like this. So now let me detach this. And after that, I'd love to make some change here on the background. To do this, we can add video gradient color. So let's add a color. I'm going to select this color, which we have got from the global colors. And you can basically choose color by clicking here on this color picker. All right. And on this general tab, you are going to find some other options like section frame, width and height. We have got some other options on the styles tab. Depending on your need, you can use any of these options or all of these options. Then we have got this advanced tab. You are going to find some advanced features available here, which you can use depending on our need. And these options are available for every content, every element of our website, as you can see here, right? So now let's say I want to make some change here on this title. I can simply hover over here and while these control bars are indicating, we can simply click on any place of this element and then we can start making the change. For instance, instead of minutes, let's type out seconds. And here we go, we have got the change and we have got many other options available. Depending on the need, we can use them to customize the layout and make the changes. Now, let's say I want to add a new element here on the website. Simple, we can click on this add new element below to add new element. If we want, we can click here on this right uh, plus icon for the column so that we'll be able to add new columns. Same here, we can click here on this plus icon for rows to add new rows and we can click here on this plus icon to add new section, right? Now, let's add a new element right after this button. I'm going to click on this plus icon. After that, a general elements tab will open up with all the options. Now, I'm going to add a subscription form, for example, and here you go, we have got this added. Now, if we need, if we don't need this part, we can simply delete the element. And obviously, if I click on this element, it is going to open up the model from where we can make all the necessary changes that we want to make. Now let's talk about some other options available on the builder. Let's talk about the page settings first. If I click on page settings, we'll be able to make necessary changes for this page. For instance, from the basic tab, we're going to be able to provide the title and description for the page. We'll be able to set the page language. We'll be able to set the pop-up settings from here if we have got any pop-up added on this uh, web page. Then from the page meta option, we'll be able to provide meta information for this website or page. And from advanced tab, we'll be able to add custom header and footer code on this specific page. 
now let's talk about these site settings which is going to take effect on the complete website we can specify the site language language direction we can add a fab icon we can add social media icon and we can make necessary changes from the integrations tab we'll be able to integrate analytic softwares we'll be able to integrate chat and marketing softwares we'll be able to integrate payment options as well from advanced tab we'll be able to add custom header and footer code to the complete website now let's talk about the global styles option from where we'll be able to set everything for the website for instance for the background we can choose a color gradient or image for the complete website from body and typography paragraph typography we'll be able to set up the typography setting for the paragraphs and body contents then where here we have got the heading typography option for each of the headings we can specify the values separately then we have got some other options from this container and column option we are going to be able to provide container white or the custom white of this website from global colors we'll be able to add colors that we are going to use on our website mostly so that it is going to save us some time from fonts option we can add some google fonts custom fonts on our website which you can use and we have got a dedicated video about fonts and you're going to find the link of that video into the description field below and now let's talk about this page option from page option you can go from one page to another page if you have got multiple pages here and if you need to create a new page on your website simply click on this add new page you're going to find the option to give the page a name add a link to the page and click on save and then you'll be able to build the page based on your need after that let's talk about these device icons currently we are working on the desktop device but if you want you can um, design the website for a tablet device for a mobile device you can see the preview how it is going to look like and then depending on your need you can click on any of these items to customize them uh, based on the device layout and after that we got these undo and redo icons uh, depending on your actions you can basically use them and here is the icon for preview here is the icon or the option to save your changes and automatically doric saves all the changes that you made or make and then we have got this publish button to publish your website then here's the link to preview the website live so this was the walkthrough of doric website builder i believe you have found this video informative and helpful but if you have got any further question regarding doric website builder please feel free to ask us by commenting below and visit us at doric.com for more information thank you so much for being with doric